Hi, I'm Ben Marriott. I'm a motion designer. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove a simple green screen from your footage inside Premiere Pro. Green screens are used more and more in video productions to take an object or an actor and place them in a different environment. The technical term for removing a green screen is called chroma keying, and what it's essentially doing is taking one color from your footage and getting rid of it, making it transparent so you can replace it with something else. We typically use green screens or blue screens because green and blue are the most distinct colors from human flesh tones. Now we are in the effects workspace and we've got our green screen footage in our timeline as well as our background and we've got this nice wintry scene that should match our actor really well. Now in visual effects, removing a green screen or making anything transparent is called keying. So let's search for key inside of our effects panel. And there are a bunch of options, but for removing a green screen, generally ultra key is going to give the best result. So let's apply that to our footage. And now we have all the parameters over here that we can edit. Now the biggest factor of whether we can pull a good key or remove our green screen effectively is the footage itself. Now this footage should work well. Our subject isn't wearing any green clothing that would become transparent as well. There aren't any clear or transparent objects like glass where the green screen would show through. And the subject is lit in a way that there's very little green light spilling back onto them reflected from the green screen. And you might think that curly hair like this would be really tricky, but this effect is actually going to make pretty easy work of this. So let's begin. The first thing we need to do is choose our color key. And we've got an eyedropper here, so let's select that. And we want to eyedrop an area of green around our subject. This green screen is pretty evenly lit, so it shouldn't matter too much. Let's just select here. And instantly it is gone and removed it. Easy, but it's not perfect. There's still a bit of fine tuning we need to do to make this look really clean and sharp. It hasn't totally removed our green screen. There's still a slight halo around some of our selection like that we can see around the hair and it can be hard to see in this view. So to make that easier, let's change the output of this effect from composite to alpha channel. In this view, we can see that the black areas are everything that's been removed that is now transparent and the white areas are everything that's remaining. Now it is much clearer what needs to be fixed. There's a bunch of green screen that is still slightly visible on the edges. And there's a bit inside our subject that is being removed when it shouldn't be. We can scrub through the footage and really we want to find out where it is worse. It's pretty good through most of the way. This area is probably the worst because we get these dark areas inside our actor silhouette that we're going to need to adjust. Now, the first thing we can do is create a mask around our actor because our actor doesn't really move too much from this point and they don't really go over this side of the screen. So we can just essentially crop this out and not have to worry about it. So let's select our pen tool, our free draw bezier tool over underneath opacity. Let's click on that. And we just want to click and drag and draw roughly around our subject. We can be really rough here. And once we create it, we can adjust these bezier handles and move them so our subject does not go outside of them. And if we scrub through, we can see that they don't leave that area. That's great. And now we can see we've cropped out this whole right section. So we don't need to worry about this green screen that was still visible on the right. Now back in ultra key, let's toggle down matte generation and tweak some settings. Now if we turn down the transparency, it starts to remove areas inside our subject that should be white. Like we've still got these darker areas underneath our arm and on the left side of the head. So we want to drag that down and it will make those white, which is what we want. But if we go much further, it starts to make the background look lighter, which will show through and we don't want that. So we wanna push it as far as we can before their background starts getting worse. And 33 is working well for this footage. This will of course be different on your own footage. Now there are other settings we can tweak here, but the one that is gonna make the most difference is pedestal. If we click on this and drag it up, increasing that number, we can see it removing the wide areas in our background. And we wanna push that until they are all removed. And we don't wanna to go too far because if we push it all the way, it cuts into our hair and we're gonna lose a lot of detail. So the aim of the game here is to keep as much detail as possible whilst making our key nice and sharp. So let's scroll back and then find the right area where everything in our background becomes black and we don't have to push it any further. That is looking good. Let's go back to our composite view and take a look. There, that is looking much better. Now, one thing it's very likely you'll have to clean up in your green screen is the spill suppression. So spill is the green light that is reflected off our screen back onto our subject or our actor. Here we can see there's a bit of green light around their hair and looks like some is reflected on the right side of their face as well. This isn't too bad. Often this can get much, much worse 
And that's one thing you can look out for in movies if you're not sure if someone's on a green screen is if they have a bit of green light reflected on their face or any reflective surface that they're wearing. And the way to deal with that is to open up spill suppression and we want to increase the desaturation. So what this will do is desaturate anything that's green around the edges of our subject. And let's focus on the color of this hair here. And let's drag this up and about here it turns black and white. Like before, we want to push this as far as we can before it turns the whole image black and white which it will start to do soon, starting with the face, which is the most saturated. And if we go all the way, everything's grayscale. So let's reset that back to 25 and then drag that up until we just lose a bit of that green color in the hair that we have here. And there our green screen is removed. Now we can place our subject over whatever background we like. So I'm gonna move this up onto our second video channel and put our winter background underneath. And now we've placed our character in this setting. And even those areas that seem difficult, like the curly hair work really well here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've learned how to key out a green screen quickly and effectively, and how to make subtle adjustments to make it as clean as possible by changing its mat and adjusting the spill suppression. Please check out the rest of the videos in this series, all about effects inside Adobe Premiere Pro.